What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here today and uh, we want to upgrade the uh, map lights on this uh, 3500 GMC Sierra 07 classic model. Uh, you can see the uh, map lights right there, how dim those are. And we want to upgrade these to LED so that we can actually see in here. And so it's got a little thing right here stick a little screwdriver in prise it down right there if I can get it's hard to do this one-handed there we go that's the little cover you can see up in there you see the little reflector prise it down then you can see the bulb up in there that's just a standard uh, 194 bulb and I have a 194 LED bulb right here so all we gotta do is reach up in here and pull this out like that I'm gonna use pliers because it's hot because it's on obviously so uh, let me grab some pliers and that way I'll be able to film this and you can see alright guys I turned the light off and turned the light on the camera there so you can see you can see the bulb in the socket Let's try to grab it right there. Can without crushing it. Pull it out. Then the other one is a bigger right there, so you have to put the uh, bulb inside the reflector like that, and then insert the whole thing at the same time. It's a little bit tricky. Hopefully we can get it done. You can't see where the bulb socket's at because the uh, reflector's covering it up. It's a little aggravating. All right, I might have turned the camera off to get this going in there. All right, guys, I got the bulb stuck in there, as you can see. And uh, these things here are uh, polarity sensitive. So if it does not work, pull the bulb out and uh, insert it the other way. You see you have uh, two pins on the bulb here. So if you put it in like this, it doesn't work. Pull it out, flip it 180, put it back in, and it will work. Uh, so anyway, I got that one in right there, and let me turn it on right there and turn this off so you can see the difference. I think you can pretty well see the difference right there in the left and the right. And then all you got to do is put the, uh, snap the little cover back on here. See if I can do that with a camera in my hand. Oh yeah. And you can see the significant difference right there even on camera how much brighter that is so anyway and I'll go ahead and do the other side alright guys got both of those in there uh, and you will insert the LED backwards where it won't work, uh, where it won't work first I did it on both bulbs and uh, just pull it out like I say and flip it over to the other side there and stick it back in and it'll work uh, anyway, that's both of those. Uh, now we're going to turn around here and look at the uh, interior light right here. See what there is to it. Um, I don't know if turning it on will help me see or not. I'm going to get a screwdriver. See if I can get the cover off here. Like that. And I do not have any LEDs to fit that. But uh, that's all there is to that. And uh, anyways. 
All right, guys, I don't have any LED bulbs to fit that right now. That's a 578 bulb. Uh, I'll get some of those, and uh, you see how it comes apart. There's nothing to it. You just pop the bulb out, pop some new bulbs in. Good to go. Uh, so anyway, you see how that slips up in behind there, holds it up to the roof, and then it just snaps back up in there, and you're good to go. So anyway, I took the middle bulb out. All three of those are 578s on this particular truck. And this is a uh, four-door uh, truck, as you can see. Four full doors. Uh, because I believe those are different depending on which uh, cab configuration you have. But on a four-door truck, uh, 578s is what I got. All you got to do to pop this cover off, stick a screwdriver, pop it down, and you can pull the bulb out and see what bulb you got Uh to know what you need and order you a 578 bulb or go to the parts house and get one which is what i'm gonna do so anyway we got those working and uh that's a wrap for this video so thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time